How do you feel about needles? As the world competes to develop a coronavirus vaccine, there are people in Southern Africa who want to get involved. Wow. <laughs> In the city of Johannesburg, two large-scale vaccine trials are underway. <laughs> and a third will start in a couple of weeks. And there are thousands here who are willing to participate. Are you having second thoughts? <laughs> Do you think this vaccine could work? I think so, and I hope so it works. Because ish. this disease, man, ish. I can't even, this feeling can't be described. In a clinic in the township of Soweto, health staff administer the second dose of a new vaccine developed by Oxford University. And this is an excellent place to test it. The virus has run rampant in South Africa, with the number of infections hurtling past 600,000. There are a lot of people who are dying out there. Just wow. so if we find the right thing. Didn't do this for free. Up in the lab, we found the trial organizer, Professor Shabir Mahdi. And he's got his own list of demands. If he can show these vaccines work in Africa, the pharmaceutical companies will have to distribute them in Africa as well. What we need to understand is that there's no rush on the part of pharmaceutical companies to come and do vaccine studies in Africa. None at all. The only reason it's been done in South Africa is because I went out to convince people that you need to do the studies now in South Africa, on the African continent, and we can't wait for the studies to be done after the pandemic has passed. It may take years, or even a generation, he says, to develop effective COVID vaccines. But he thinks everyone should get the benefit. It's tight, it's cramped, it's very busy. They're doing 18-hour shifts in the lab with a new vaccine from the United States also being trialed. But here's the thing, will people take it if it works? One trial participant warned us her friends and neighbors would never take a vaccine for COVID-19. To be honest, more especially are uh, black people be taking this lightly because we have this mindset that this illness is only taking white people, rich people and stuff. But it's like they're trying to say that this disease can see, it can feel like that you have money, and then it comes and attacks you. The coronavirus selects its prey. It's one of a number of myths and misconceptions that South African researchers are now encountering. And their work may be as important as the scientists in the lab. We join one team in Soweto. Um, what do you think about the vaccine? The vaccine for that me is like, mm. it's like here, they're, in here in South Africa is like they're going to kill black people. Wow. Why do you say that? Where, where does it come from? Okay. 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 Would you take the vaccine? Never. No. no. Never. Would no. You wouldn't wow. take it. Wouldn't you take oh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you never know. Oh. Because <laughs> like, like NATO or Zoguti, okay, that vaccine, coronavirus in it. Yeah, thanks for your time, guys. Thank you. To build herd immunity, the majority need to vaccinate. But these residents won't be easy to convince. They don't trust it because they feel that it's not, it's not real. You know, whoever invented the vaccine or wherever it originates from, they are bringing it here to kill people. So they believe there are things that have been done or that are put in that vaccine to reduce the number of population in, in Africa. Scientists are fighting Africa's corner in an attempt to secure an effective vaccine, but they need to make the case on the streets for doubt and suspicion are festering. John Sparks, Sky News, Johannesburg.